Oh, that's it, like an overlap. What the hell? Yeah, let's go and shoot that. We've, uh, we've got our corner in position, right? You're two inches away now from your string line, so you know you're yes. in your exact position. Yep. So now we want to lock this wall in place with the um, base of the uh, power bed. Uh, we're going to put a screw, a screw in, say, right about there. That allows us to adjust the wall, and it also allows the wall to compress slightly, which is what's going to happen when you put the warm concrete in for it. Foot, foot, like that. Sure. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I want to move in. I want to move to you about a half inch. Okay, go. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to set up a, kick, a kicker right here to that strong back. And then because we've got the cribbing right there, we're going to run a small 2x4 with a turnbuckle over to the top way. How many screws would you use? Three is good. Oh yeah? Okay. Two. Kind of in line. Just below my whaler? Is there a... Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Because that 2x4 is not going to bend. Huh? Uh, I can just do that. Exactly. You're kidding me. That's too easy. I'll put it on the bottom so you don't get concrete on it. So we're gonna start. We're gonna screw in the corner and then work out, right? So we'll we'll screw the corner and then screw over there and then just come back and fill in. It's quicker doing it that way, right? Alright, we've got a, the fabric has got a 16 inches there, so you got enough to go put one screw there and one screw there. And you can either go on the side or just a little bit above, that'll work. I think because I have a bit of a bit of a fit there, I might need one above. Not too high, because don't forget you got your slab, right? Perfect. Set yeah. I don't know if that would yeah. move it though. But when, you, when you pour, <coughs> you know, after you've poured, as you're pouring, you, you're going to set a string line on the outside with a three quarter inch space. Mm -hmm. You're going to put a little three quarter inch block right on that corner and that corner before you pour, and you're going to run a string line all the way along. So then, even as you pour, you can say, oh, oh it's up by a quarter of an inch, blah, blah. That's pretty good, like I thought. Yeah, that's what it's here. Are we doing it again? Yeah, we've got the um, we've got the bottom of the wall. It's all pinned with the stakes on the strong backs, and now we're just doing a final check on the elevation, yeah, top of wall. Here, because you've got the 